So I got to looking at that uh, hole in the board there and I thought, you know, for a temporary patch until I can get it cut and filled, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use some uh, steel reinforced epoxy. And uh, we spread it out pretty good here. And now that I've got a light on it, I'm starting to think this job might be a little bigger than I thought. A lot of this is just that, kind of that brownish sound deadening crap. I don't think it's rust but it could be hiding rust, so we're gonna have to do a little bit more looking, but for a patch job for now, using a spreader and some epoxy, I'm pretty pleased. After that seals up, it's gonna take about four to six hours. I'm gonna go ahead and um, hit it with some spray paint, some red spray paint until we can really get this guy done. But uh, yeah, for now I'm pretty pleased with that patch. I've got some guys in the Toge group who can actually cut it out and weld it, but until that happens, this ought to sort it for now. I love that little Toyota badge in the front. Not many people get the benefit of it. It does look like they've preset them a little bit, actually. Does it? Mm-hmm. By the distance between everything is the same. Very cool. Yeah, I'm looking. Pull that footage and you could do a time lapse. I know, that'd be fun, right? <laughs> Maybe, I, I don't know, I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> Yeah, honestly. Yeah, so this one. You, you said it's a 14, right? For, yeah, four, yes. yeah, it's a 14 for the seat belt there, and you just use the factory seat belt. What really screwed me up is on the install here is which one of these bolt holes behind the seat belt guard are you supposed to use? Well, there's this one that I thought it might be, and then there's this existing bolt here that I thought might get unbolted but there's just an unused hole down there below that that goes to that. Then your longest extension gets this black bolt, and they don't label the bolt, so you get this black bolt with an Allen head on it, and you use the locking nut on the back side of it, and you wanna kinda of leave this loose until you get this guy down here flat against the floor where you're supposed to drill through. So once it's flat to the floor, you kinda of knock this guy into place until this hits the correct angle. Then you bolt in your existing seat belt. Then you've got this foot here, and this goes here, and that club foot goes down, and there's a little black plastic deal, just like one of these, just like that, covering that. And you'll just wanna peel that out. That goes right there, and you'll bolt that in like that. Your last step is you'll drill a hole straight through the floor, put a nice thick nut on both sides, and that'll be your door bar from Cusco installed. The last question that I have and that we're currently trying to figure out is to what extent and how do you cut these seat belt holding plastics? So that's our next question, but yeah, it's not too hard. I think we'll get it figured out. Because the instructions are a little hard to follow, this is what I've kind of learned. So that top bolt there is fairly easy to figure out. You use one of the thinner washers that are large for up there. And then as you move down, you probably want to go ahead and put a washer between the black Allen headed bolt and the lock nut that's on the back, which I forgot to do, but it's not a big deal. Down there, that's where your seat belt bolt is going to go. Then over here, what we're using to connect to the bar, that sheep's foot piece, it's the other uh, black Allen headed bolt with a washer that fits it. And then the bolt that goes into the wall there, it's gonna be this guy right here. It's got a little Allen head on it, but it's silver. There she goes, if she'll focus, just like that. So that's the one that you need to connect the sheep's foot to the bar right there. And then the last piece down there is going to use those thick washers and we're going to be drilling through that straight into the floorboard and connecting on both sides the floor and the top. So that's how that works. Yeah, so I think our passenger side is almost done. I just need to go ahead and add a washer right there, which I forgot to do the first time around. This actually isn't too bad. It's just super confusing at first because it's all in Japanese and I don't read Japanese or speak it. However, right Alistair, our good friend here with the cappuccino who we reviewed earlier, he does speak Japanese and read Japanese, so his help here was a big one, so yeah.
Long story short, get yourself a Japanese Suzuki cappuccino driver to help you do your install and you'll be in a lot better shape. All right, and then for the holes in the floor, you want to use a 5 16th drill bit to get through there. It makes the hole the correct size. And uh, no, there is nothing underneath it, so go ahead and drill. Just make sure you have your bar bolted down tightly everywhere else before you make that drill hole. That way you know you're going to hit the correct location. And yeah, once you've done that, the supplied hardware is pretty much adequate. You're going to be using one of the thick uh, washers, but one of the smaller ones on top. So the smaller one here will be on top, and this bigger one will go under the car. That way you'll have enough support. And I found that to be perfectly useful for what we got. So that's how that works. And that is our driver's side pretty much completely installed. The only thing we haven't done is cut the plastics for the seat belt. But once we do that, we will unbolt that guy down there, re-put in the seat belt, and get the plastic sorted around it. So yeah, pretty good piece of equipment. And then additionally, when you're cutting your door bars, it's good to have a little bit of a template. And it looks like here at mincara.carview.co.jp, there is a useful pattern here for cutting this that's correct. And if you just want to pause the video, those are your measurements. Alistair, could you go ahead and show that entire URL for folks who might want to... Uh, hold up. Yeah. That's a little hard. Try turning the phone sideways. Um, all right. You can't see all of it. And that's uh, that 4-4 four four is at the end of it? Yep. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, uh, no, it's a little bit longer. That's there you go. And there's the end of it. And that right there will give you your dimensions for cutting these plastic pieces so that you can have a nice install when you're done. We've got ours mocked up here on the plastic, and we're getting ready to start our cutting. We'll let you know how that goes. But yeah, so far I'm really happy with them. The fit and finish is just spectacular. I don't really expect anything less That's from... That's Google search I did. I don't expect anything less from Cusco, but if you really want a nice challenge, here's your Google search in order to find that link. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks again, Alistair. Appreciate yeah. you, boss. So now that they're installed, I was looking at pictures of these and I thought, you know, that could potentially be difficult to get into. I'm about to see if there's any truth to that for the very first time. So let's see how that works. I just put the driver's side seat back in. All right. Okay, that's definitely different. Ow. So you will absolutely drop your leg on it. But I do like it. It's right here by my arm. I don't mind it. I really don't. It's pretty nice, actually. Let me see about getting out. Here, let's back up. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Now, so the idea is I should be able to use it as a bar. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's going to take some getting used to, but it is right there that my leg goes across it, right along this muscle there. So that's going to be a little uncomfortable, but I think I'll get over it. Maybe some pool, to uh, pool noodles and duct tape, you know? Zip ties? Some zip ties, yeah. Some of that. Just make it a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, but I like it. That's how you do your Cusco door bars. That's it, guys. It has been uh, nothing short of incredible. Two days and a whole lot of work done. The car is, from what I can tell, very, very different now. We took it around the block. I don't really want to put any time or real driving into it until it's had the alignment. Um, but yeah, I'm wiped out. Two days, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m out working on these cars my good friend Corey you know really being a trooper kicking ass on it I couldn't couldn't be happier the car is awesome uh, 
those door bars are potentially going to piss me off in the long run, but we'll see how that goes. I might just be tired now, and but yeah, you, know, you definitely got to climb over them, so. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps. Like the video. Check us out on Instagram. We're over there at inspired underscore drive. And uh, whatever you do, be safe and drive inspired. Thanks again, guys. It's been a blast.